sponsored by Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for the creative and curious amongst you. Skillshare is a place for you to explore new and existing interesting skills taught by professionals with real experience, from drawing and photography to business and marketing. I use Skillshare mostly to learn new skills for my art and also skills that help me to make my YouTube channel more interesting and attractive. And lately, guys, I started a completely new chapter in my life. I finally started learning 3D modeling in a program called Nomad on my iPad. And I already learned actually all necessary basics thanks to Skillshare classes by Dave Reed. I started with the one called 3D modeling for beginners with Nomad Sculpt. It was really easy to follow and I don't know why I waited for so long to study 3D sculpting. It appeared to be quite easy. So now I have already moved on to the Dave's next class called 3D modeling for beginners part 2 and soon planning to start his class on 3D character design. Really excited about it. So something cool is coming on my channel very soon. So guys, if you are curious about Skillshare and if you want to give it a try you have a unique opportunity to explore the Skillshare class library completely for free because the first thousand people to use the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So go there, check it out and I'm quite sure you're gonna like it. Hello everyone and welcome to my new dollar paint video. Well guys, today we are finally going to make a Dragon Princess doll because you know I've been sitting here already for 6 years making dolls on YouTube and I've never made even one single dragon doll. I don't really know why, probably because Delightful was busy for a very long time working on her collection of dragon dolls so it was kind of her topic, I didn't want to steal it from her. But now you know I think I'm quite ready, I'm ready to make my own dragon doll so let's start today with making like a red fiery dragon like red with gold but if you want to see more dragon dolls on my channel please write it down in the comments under this video to let me know that you are interested because you know there are lots of dragons in the world but yeah today let's start with the red dragon with the fiery one I think it's gonna be very cool really excited about this makeover really excited about finally making a dragon doll. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course, hit the bell button to get notified about my new Dory Paint videos. I upload new Dory Paint videos sometimes every week, sometimes every two weeks. Depends on how big this project is. So this is it. Let's start working. So this is going to be our model this week. And you know, guys, as far as I remember, this character was originally a dragon monster high. So I think she's absolutely perfect for this makeover. I really love her textured skin and the face with this a little bit bigger and kind of slightly crooked nose. I think she will be a perfect dragon. She will be absolutely beautiful. But in the end of this video, but right now let's remove everything she wears, cut off her hair, let's disconnect the head from the body after warming it up with a hair dryer. And after this I will remove her face with pure acetone.
the canvas is clean, I can start the transformation. First of all, I'm going to draw her face. I really love her golden skin tone, but you know, I will not be able to keep it like it is, unfortunately, because after applying 20 plus layers of the matte sealant, it will lose all the shine and it will look just some, I don't know, dirty yellow face instead of gold. So I will work on her skin tone as usual and later I will find another way to add some gold and shine to her skin if I feel like it. So as I told you, I want to make her red and golden dragon, so her makeup is going to be mostly red and yellow. I want to make yellowish green with vertical kind of snake irises.
Okay, let's stop here for now and let's work on her body now to make the face and the body look the same. But first of all, I want actually to make a hole on her back. I will need it in the future for the dragon wings. And then I will sand off the glossy top from the body, seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and I will cover it with a couple of layers of soft pastels. The face and the body are finished for now, I will come back to them later if I need some extra golden shine like I told you. But right now I want to start working on her outfit and check it out. I've bought this extremely pretty fabric that looks exactly like a red dragon's skin the way I imagine it. So let's turn this fabric into a huge skirt and a crop top. I want her top to be quite short to show the texture on her skin, on her belly. I think crop top will work really good here. So this is the basic outfit and now guys I still want to decorate it but for this I will need my 3D printer to print a bunch of dragon skulls in different sizes. Okay, I've made quite a lot of skulls, we will need all of them later, but for now I will take just the three that I need to decorate the outfit and I will first paint them with a the golden paint, then I will cover them with a the leaf in size, it's such a thing that makes all surfaces super sticky, really like tape, it even smells like tape. And then I will cover it with the shining gold. So 
So I've got some cute and shining golden skulls. So now let's attach them to the outfit. guys i don't know i think it looks really cool it's very shiny and it also gives me some warrior vibes with these things on her shoulders i don't know i think it looks very good what do you think guys i think we're done here so now let's make a pair of dragon wings and i will use this very pretty fabric for it so first of all i will start with attaching this fabric to a piece of sticky warbler cobra cast thermoplastic So you see I've got like a piece of plastic laminated in this fabric around as a result. So now I can draw and cut out the wings out of it. Now let's attach some of these longer bones to the wings. So now they look already very good, but they're still quite flat. I want to bend them a little bit and for this I'm going to warm them up and I'm going to, I don't know, like shape them, give them a little bit like half round shape around these packages of kitten cafes that I'm going to repaint very soon. Okay, it looks very promising guys, now I just need to attach the pin that will connect the wings to the doll's back and after this I will cover these white parts with gold using the same method like I just used for making the skulls gold. First golden paint, then leaf in size, then the gold. Here are the finished wings guys, I think they look really beautiful and they will go really well together with the rest of the doll. Mm -hmm. 
So now let's make the boots and actually I want to use this monster high boots as a base. I think they will go with this look but I just want to customize them a little bit. And first of all I'm taking two more dragon skulls that were printed earlier this week and I'm attaching them to the front of the boots. Make the dragons and the heels gold. And the rest of the boots I cover with black acrylics. And we are done with the dragon boots, guys. Check them out, I think they look super cute. I need some black accents to balance her red and gold look. So I think these boots are absolutely perfect. And you know, I think I will reuse this original tail because its shape is absolutely perfect. I would create something like this as well for this look. So let's not over it. Let's take the existing tail and let's cover it with golden and red metallic foil. So here is finally the shining tail, it looks absolutely gorgeous, love it, it will really fit the look. And now let's probably quickly make a staff out of the biggest dragon skull and the barbecue stick. Let's cover it with gold and then we will move on to her hair. No guys, actually before I start working on her hair, I want to cover her body and her face with a very thin layer of golden acrylics to bring that golden shine back because the rest of her look is so shiny, really golden and red. She definitely needs some extra shine on her skin. I just covered her eyes and eyebrows with tiny pieces of wet tissue paper to protect them from paint. Yes, now I think it's a better skin tone for a golden dragon, so now let's make your hair using the very last of my black acrylic yarn. Oh, it's such a drama, really. It was a perfect yarn for doll hair, and I really need to find more of it somewhere to buy. 
The problem is that it's still summer now and all shops have their Excel thick acrylic yarn somewhere very far back in stock. But anyway, I will find something online hopefully. But for now let's turn these last bits of the yarn into hair and let's attach it to the doll's head. I also want to add two strands of red hair very close to her face as an accent. So, and now when the glue is dry, I can start styling it and I want to make something really special, something not boring, something maybe even a little bit like intricate looking, a little bit strange. So, let me experiment with her hair a little bit and let's see where I will end up. So this is what I've made, I think her hair looks very cool and it really matches the Dragon Princess fantasy. So now let's attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we'll still quickly make a headpiece for her. Well, it's actually quite easy. I need the last of my dragon skulls. I will install a pin inside of it using epoxy resin and then I will cover it with gold using the same technology. So this is how it looks in the end, I think it's quite perfect, so now I will put this head back to the body and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is my finished dragon princess or dragon empress, I haven't decided yet who exactly she is, what kind of dragon royalty, but she is definitely some sort of royalty because she looks absolutely majestic, it's probably one of the most majestic dolls ever. Of course, the golden shine plus the red metallic shine, they all look absolutely fantastic together. And then her face with the green eyes and this hair and the dragon skull on top of her hair, it's all finishing the majestic look. I don't know, I absolutely love this doll. This is one of my most favorite ones. I should have made a dragon doll really a long time ago. I also saw this red dragon skin fabric in different colors in stock, so I will probably buy more of it, because it's so pretty, then I can make really more dragons, or it would also look good as a skin of a mermaid's tail, with such a scales, really very pretty, very exciting, so I don't know, I feel really excited about this project today, it was a lot of covering with gold this time, but you know, strangely enough, I really enjoy this process, when you're brushing off 
these tiny pieces of messy foil and get a perfect shiny golden object. I don't even mind the golden dust that covers everything in my studio because it's a very soothing process to me. So guys, and what do you think about my dragon princess? Should I make more of them? I don't know, there are all different kinds of dragons, so it can be fun. Please let me know in the comments down below. And also guys, please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy the end result of this video. And of course, this doll is now available for sale on eBay for 3 days. The link is in the description under this video, so please check it out if you are interested. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in my next doll repaint video. And this one will be the next week Friday. So see you just in a week. Love you guys. Bye.